the European breakfast. The European breakfast. This is an old lady who's walking with something. It's unbelievable. She's got it on her head. She's got a five gallon bucket on her head. Okay, Dad, tell us the story. Well, it's the yellow flowered bush is a or, scotch broom. Yeah, it's kind of a weed. Yeah, it's a weed. And it, came, it came from Scotland. And we have it all over the Northwest. And uh, when I lived in a little town of uh, Bangor, or out of Bangor, uh, it... Uh, this is in the Washington, this is on Hood Canal. Yeah. Uh, you were Hood, an engineer there. On the Hood Canal. You were an engineer and, uh, for a pulp factory. Uh, which was before I went to medical school, medical school. Okay. Waited, waiting uh, for school to start, and uh, we had scotch room there, and I made wine out of it. <laughs> you took the blossom? Yeah, and uh, it didn't taste like much, but uh, it was uh, it was wine. Well, when the bees discover scotch broom, they love it. Yeah. Uh, but it ruins the honey. Did you know that? No. Yeah, it turns it black and bitter. Yeah. There's another, I think, I think that's the case. We'll have to have Betsy confirm that. Yeah. Um, but he, every day after work, used to bring a dog and you would row across. Oh, yeah. Across uh, to the bay, uh, to the uh, state park. Yeah. And, uh, and we'd catch a salmon every other day. Catch a salmon every other day. Yeah. Great. Oh, that's okay. Uh, anyway, that's right. There was a, a little place I lived on, uh, on Hoos Canal. Yeah. Right. We are on the Rio Duro. This is the Rio Duro, and the Romans called um, Porto, Porto because in Latin, Porto is, of course, door. And this is considered a fantastic valley, and the, one of the first valleys that's all vineyards. As we go north, we're gonna get into vineyards. Um, river of gold. And the River of Gold, that's what Dad thinks, Rio de Oro, but it actually probably came from Duri, which is a Celtic term, and the Celts were here before the Romans. That's what I read anyway. Dad says it's the Rio de Oro or Rio of Gold, the River of Gold. They do their laundry just like Dad does. Some beautiful roses. Here's this little, here's a little driveway with just a grotto. That looks great. Dad, here's a church. Of course, it's just absolutely beautiful. And then there's the cemetery. And they go all out on the cemeteries. Oh, look at the chair. I know, they just, there's not, not a weed. Not a weed, no, anywhere. Flowers, fresh flowers on every single grave. And some of these people died a long time ago. Here's a little boy that died at 12 years old, Jose Fernando. And with mom, and then here's the parents. 1922 to 2008 and 1923 to 2001 and fresh flowers 
Look at that adorable. Every single grave is just beautiful. Almost like a competition. The best part about a grave, they neatly have two pitchers and a broom ready so people can maintain them. Oh, it's just really stunning. This church is from 1358, and uh, they didn't have sandstone here in Portugal. They have granite, and that's why this church is in such great shape. But man, that would have been brutal. But um, here's your granite church from 1358. Okay, let's go. In Portugal, you always start every meal with an appetizer. And it's always a little bit of tuna and mayonnaise or fish and mayonnaise. And they have these little crackers and olives. And then check out this tomato. What they did, this is so cute. Uh, it'll hit me. We're on this lake. They dammed that Rio Duro. Duro. These I just thought were muffins, but they're actually not. They're an egg sort of deal. And with the tuna on them, they're incredible. It's a four inch pipe. Um, a quarter inch plate welded to the top. It's pretty low tech. And the um, eight inch plate on the bottom. We stopped at this great restaurant. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. And uh, we're having the soup, which is cauliflower soup, and the salad, which is marinated mushrooms and asparagus. And this is fantastic. Well, the is tell the story again, Dad, about the swallows. <laughs> well, they they were there for when they were building a house. Yeah, and they put their mud nest on the side of the house. So this is in Nonsberg. Yeah. They're building the house, and the swallows came and put a mud nest in, and then the painters... And they... So they painted the nest. They the painted the house, house and the nest. <laughs> and uh, when we came, of course, the nest was empty, the swallows were gone. Yeah. That was painted, and they came back the next year and built a new nest next to the... Yeah. Hold on. I came back every year. And um, <clears throat> the last year they were, or the last two years, they had the nest on the garage side. And um, huh. above the garage. And um, huh. they're pretty neat. Pretty neat. What was I like as a child? <clears throat> As I would think, hyperactive mm -hmm. um, to the nth degree. <laughs> there's hope, Lawton. There's hope. <laughs> Anything else you want to talk about? Um, well, you were your interests were very many. But they only lasted like three seconds. <laughs> that hasn't changed. <laughs> That's the same. I did emergency medicine for 18 years. That's a that's a record for me. Um, maybe I get bored. I like a challenge. This is a um, plywood um, table, and it's adorable. And it has this little grooves in it. Um, little cuts, probably like three inches. Not quite a two by four, not three and a half. And the legs are just three quarter inch pieces of wood. Um, here's a look at the underside and what they did. Here's the sandwich, which is melted cheese and some sort of sauce. Melted cheese with an egg on top, of course. Because why wouldn't you? 
ham and stuff. We have fries. I love how the plates mate. They're merry like that. And here's the fish with the ubiquitous tomato. And Portugal, you never know what's going to be inside the um, food. And they put a vegetable inside of this. Here is a steak, lots of cheese, and ham. Here's the inside of the sandwich. You got bread with egg and dripping with cheese, and then some beef and ham. We were in prison. Tell me about your prison experience. Is this the first time you were in jail? First time for what? In jail? <laughs> I've never been in prison before. Um, How did they treat you? Treated me like crap. Why? In what way? Well, there was the uh, the police were bulls, <coughs> and they really thought that the um, persons of the um, Portuguese were not very nice people. Yeah. I'd rather really leave. But <laughs> did you? Um, yeah, but let the record show that they didn't make you take the laces off your shoes. They made everybody else take the laces off. No, I didn't hear that. Uh, by comparison, this is the afternoon espresso with the chocolate on the side, the sugar. <laughs> It's going for the good bread first. We're back at the same place we were there last night. Here's the veal chop on a corn slaw. It's a barbecued veal chop. I'm sure it's much better than any American barbecue. And then my dad got the smoked salmon Caesar. 